What's up guys, this is another tutorial by Young Buck 4 and one and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and burn Yellow Dog Linux 6.1 for PS3. I already had a video on how to step-by-step -step installation on how to do it. It had download links, but they're really, really slow. So guys, and I, it didn't tell you how to burn it. So today I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay. The, the first step, well actually guys, I'm on my Yellow Dog Linux right now. It. Yeah, but first thing you do is open up Firefox on your computer. I like my Yellow Dog Linux internet because it's actually just a lot faster than anything else. That's just my opinion. Well, right, guys, if you do this, your wireless internet will work on my. So just uh, click on my other tutorial on how to install it. And on the step-by-step -step installation process, it shows you how to make, get your Wi-Fi internet to work. So the first thing you need to do is go to Google and type in Yellow Dog Linux. Yellow Dog is all one word, then Linux, then Space Linux. But anyways, then it'll be the first one, the first uh, search result. So then you go to... Get YDL will be the last one on the set of things. Get, get YDL. And then, you'll go, then you'll have uh, three paragraphs. Click on the third one, release to public mirrors, and click on public mirrors. Okay, guys, there'll be a whole bunch of mirrors, but click on the one that you're in. But if you're in the United States, Click on the second one, Oregon State University, and click on the FTP. And then this thing will pop up with all this stuff. Now, I want you to click on ISO. Then go down, go down. In the last one, it'll be Yellow Dog 6.1 PPC DVD, a whole bunch of numbers, and new PS3.ISO. Guys, everybody. Like, I bought my PS3 in 2007, and I got the new PS3 ISO, and I have 60 gigabytes. It worked fine. Both of them work the same. So, just get the new PS3 ISO. Just click on that, and it'll ask you to save it. So, just save it. See, mine, my internet's pretty fast, so it says an hour and 50 minutes, but I know it's lying. Well, my PS3 is not lying, of course, but still. I see it's going at 2 hours, 23 minutes. But, yeah. So, guys, next thing I want you to do is after you wise downloading, you're going to have a lot of time. So, but wise download, I need you guys to go to back to Google and type in image burn. I mean, download image burn. See, that's the picture of it right there, just showing you what it looks like. Yeah, just hit download image burn. Sorry. And image burn is what we're going to use to download the ISO file. So just. Image burn download. So it'll be the third search result. Image burn download. Sorry, since I'm downloading some my internet's gonna go a little bit slower. No, just go do something. It's gonna take about well, for me it took about nine hours. It's a long time, but it's totally worth it. Just scroll down the page when you see a whole bunch of stuff. Then hit download image burn by the little flower. Click on the little flower again. Oh, It's kind of weird. This thing popped up. Oh, then you'll have a whole bunch of languages for image burn. I want you guys to pick your language. Like it's Spanish, it's like Spanish. But since I'm English, you have to find. Huh.
Oh. Well. Anyways. Well, guys, that's just about it. So, yeah, just select your language. Uh, I don't feel like going through it right now, but... Yeah, but once you select your language, just see, look, now I'll tell you how much I have. Look, just uh, install Image Burn. And after you install it, and see, look, I still have... I'm at, um, what percent am I at? One percent. And I'm already at 60.62.63 meg. And I have two hours and 47 minutes. It's pretty fast for 3.7 gig. But, anyways... <sighs> But yeah, just guys, just wait for that to download and stuff. But yeah, that's just about it. And once it finishes downloading and you've already installed Image Burn, just open up Image Burn and click right um say, click right image file to disk. And then it, it'll detect your make sure you already had your DVD disk in by when you open it up. Then just select then at the very top it'll say browse for file. Just browse for ISO file. Click on it, double click on the ISO file, and it should just go into the program. Then go to the bottom, you'll see, um, of like a file image, and then an arrow pointing to, like, a blank disk. Just click on that, and it'll start writing. And guys, it, it only takes, like, five minutes tops. It's not gonna take long at all, surprisingly, for 3.7 gig again. But, anyways, that's, that concludes my tutorial on how to burn and install Yellow Dog Linux.